All right, well, Dennis, talk about a little about the team playing very well coming to this tournament. How do you feel like they're playing uh, heading in the SEC tournament? Well, we I don't know that we've ever had a team come into the SEC tournament with more momentum since we won it in 92, you know, which was a long, long time ago. So we're very pleased with the way our guys are, are playing. We feel like we've gotten continually better throughout the year. Uh, it's a long season in the SEC. We don't feel like we've hit the wall by any stretch, you know. In fact, you know, I, I think the Vanderbilt match that we played last weekend may have been, you know, one of the most complete matches that we played all year. Dennis, yeah, you guys won 12 of 13, and as you mentioned, when you guys won at 92, you're playing very well when you win in that term as well. Are there any similarities from this team and that team? Yeah, I think so. You know, we have some some solid points, and I think, uh, you know, where teams, great teams are, they have some solid points that they can really build around, you know, where they're pretty confident they're going to win those points. We, we have a couple of those this year. Uh, you know, back in, in 92, it was our number three and our number four players who, who went a combined 24-1 and one in the SEC for that season. So they were as close as you could be to automatic. We don't have any, any automatics like that this mm -hmm. year, but, but we probably have a little more uh, depth in terms of that. Dennis, for the, the top 12 teams in the nation, including UK, are here this weekend. Just talk about how tough this conference is and how tough this tournament is. Well, you know, certainly uh, I know until yesterday we had four of the top ten. Mm -hmm. So um, I know we had at least had four of the top 12. You know, I think where we're at in, in our league is is the middle teams are just so strong. We mm -hmm. have so many teams that are ranked, you know, 25, 27, 28, 30, you know, in that range. And I think, you know, that's what uh, really separates the SEC out, even though, you know, four of the top 12 is really good. The depth of the conference is is even more outstanding, um, in my opinion. It's tough when you're in a tournament like this, but it benefits you, doesn't it, when you get into the NCAA tournaments? Sure. You know, the SEC is probably the strongest tournament in the country outside of the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's great preparation, but you know, for the NCAA's. But I think more importantly, you know, all the teams here, it's, it's so prestigious to win the SEC championship. Uh, you know, that everybody's shooting for that. They're not looking at it as preparation for the next step. Mm -hmm. Dennis, you know, Eric, one of the top players in the nation. Talk about how well he's playing. I mean, I don't think he's lost in the, in the last month. Talk about how well he's playing coming in this tournament. Yeah, you know, he's, he's really picked it up. He mm -hmm. took a tough loss at Alabama, and I think he kind of sat down after that loss and, and evaluated some of the things he, were, he was doing. Uh, he really has come to play, you know, every match since then. Not that he didn't before that, but I mean, he has really taken it to another level in terms of his ability to compete, to finish points. He's, he hasn't thrown in a clunker in a long time. Mm -hmm. He seems to have, obviously in high school, thrived in big match situations, has here as well. Can that rub off on some of the other team? Is that an advantage? Oh, I don't think there's any question that uh, Eric, even though he's a sophomore, has been a real leader on our team through his work ethic, uh, through his competitive spirit. Uh, he's one of the best competitors I, I think we've ever had here, one of the best competitors I've ever coached. Uh, he does it in such a hardworking way positive way that it, it can't help but affect everyone else. And last thing I want to ask you is, is Muse, like he's really impressed me this year with how well he's done. Talk about what he's added to the team. What Alex has done is he's consistently maturing, you know, he uh, from last year to this year and then on through this season. He has had wins over the number one and two players in the country this year, you know, at, at the time that they were ranked that. So he can beat anyone. Uh, he not only brings a tremendous amount of um, uh, talent to the table, but he also brings a, a really good work ethic. He's someone who loves to play. He loves tennis. He would be out there, you know, 10 hours a day if, you know, we basically have to pull him off the courts so that he doesn't get hurt or he doesn't burn himself out.